Hey everyone, my name is Jackie and today I'm going to teach you how to make an origami plane. The inspiration behind this is from making paper airplanes as a kid. The first thing we're going to do is sketch the wings of our paper airplane. We're going to work on this top plane here to create them being right here so we can draw our wings. Make your shape and using the smart dimension boxes, we can actually set the sizes to 20 by 20 millimeters, which is about uh, three quarters of an inch. I'm making my pendant with these dimensions, but of course you can customize yours if you want. Pay attention to have the bottom point on the vertical green line. Your point should snap to the grid. Now create a vertical line to convert it to a construction line. So we can mirror the right wing we just created. So we're gonna like flip it over. Um, you will find this in your side menu here, over here on the right, or you can right click on your mouse. We're gonna make the tip slightly rounded next so we don't run into problems later on when we extrude the shape. To do this, we use our line tool, add a couple of horizontal lines that we are going to cut away using the trim tool to remove everything that we don't need. Now we can extrude the profile, which is this entire shape. Um, this will add thickness to our paper plane. I'm setting the distance at 1.5 millimeters, which is nice and thin, but still printable on a 3D printer. To create the body of the plane, the first sketch that we did of the wings, those are drawn on the top plane. And now we're switching planes and sketching out the body on the front plane, right here. We're gonna make this kind of V shape. You can set some specific distances using the Smart Dimension tool again. We're gonna type them in right here. I'm keeping the thickness of each sketch at 1.5 millimeters. So it looks like one piece when we put everything together and it all fit perfectly and seamlessly. Make sure to have your two vertical points on the green middle line here. Now we create a vertical line, which we will use to mirror this shape from the right side to the left side of our sketch, just like we did with the wings. Don't forget to convert this line to a construction line when you want to mirror your sketch in your right menu. This way everything will be clean and symmetrical. We create the second sketch on the front plane using the flat surface as the plane and we create a triangle shape 0.5 millimeters by 0.5 millimeters. Now we're ready to use the loft tool. You can find it up here in your menu bar. The loft tool is super interesting. It allows you to merge two separate sketches on different planes. We select as profiles our two sketches and then this is our result. The loft tool creates an organic transition between the first and the second sketch defining the body of the origami plane. We need to create a small hole and we're going to put it here on the right wing surface so we can attach a chain. As you can see, every flat surface can be used to create a new sketch. See how they highlight as you move your cursor? Um, you can apply other functions to any of these surfaces. Select the circle tool and draw your hole. And make sure to set the operation to cut in your pop-up menu over here on the right when you are extruding the circle. Next we will apply a fillet. going to set 0.2 five. This will make all of our sharp edges a little less sharp. We save our project in the Autodesk Fusion 360 cloud as origami plane pendant and when the new name will appear on the top line of the left menu we can export the file in STL for 3D printing. Let's select the object clicking on the name then right click or hold down control click on Mac and choose save as STL. So here you're gonna save your file. Make sure you remember whatever file name you save it as. All done. Congratulations, now you have the skills to keep on creating these amazing projects. Check out our page at kirakira.com to get inspired and learn new lessons. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I will see you next time.